53 right now. Let's take a look at some of the stories that we're following as you head out the door. We start this morning with Way 31's Ronnie Ross. This morning, crews will continue drilling on Highway 231 in Morgan County as they continue to find a way to fix the road. A research, research team from Auburn will also be back tomorrow to continue their study on the road. In the meantime, the Alabama Department of Transportation is taking advantage of the closure by cleaning debris out of the ditches and installing drainage systems. For now, the road is closed indefinitely. Marie. Tonight is the ninth Democratic presidential debate. It's the first for candidate Mike Bloomberg. The debate comes just 13 days ahead of Super Tuesday when 14 states will hold their primaries, including Alabama. Pat? This morning, the Justice Department pushing back amid multiple reports from overnight claiming Attorney General William Barr is actually considering stepping down. It comes days after Barr admitted that the president's tweets are making it impossible for him to do his job. But through a spokesperson, Barr says that he has no plans to step down. Sierra? A Limestone County Schools employee says the district is trying to fire him because he worked with the FBI and U.S. Department of Education and in an investigation about the misuse of funds. Mark Isley's lawsuit also claims people were given positions they weren't qualified for and accuses the school board president of making racist remarks. This morning, the Limestone County Board of Education, though, is working to hire a new superintendent. Even though a lawsuit asked them not to, the board voted unanimously to offer the job to this man right there, Dr. Randy Shearhouse, currently the superintendent in Effingham County, Georgia. Health agencies around the world are still keeping an eye on the coronavirus spreading Iran, becoming the latest country to report cases. In China, the number of new cases is falling. As of midnight central time, there were about 1,700 new infections. This is the second day in a row the number of new cases stayed below 2,000. Pat? And a Huntsville man is in the hospital in serious condition after a wreck. It happened late yesterday afternoon at the intersection of Wall Triana Highway and Jetplex Boulevard. Police say it happened as one driver was taking a left off of Wall Triana onto Jetplex. Police don't believe drugs or alcohol had to do with that crash and no charges will be filed.